First off, uh, there are a few people I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank the committee chairs. I'd like to thank Chairman Walden, Chairman Brady, Chairwoman Black, Chairman Sessions. I want to thank the members of those committees, Energy and Commerce, Ways and Means, Budget and Rules. I want to thank all the members who made constructive contributions throughout this entire deliberative, bottom-up, organic process. I want to thank the President of the United States for his steadfast leadership. In his address, Mr. Speaker, House will be in order. In his address in this chamber, he called on Congress to act. And today, we take the next step to repeal and replace Obamacare. I want to thank Vice President Pence, Secretary Price, Director Mulvaney, and all of their teams. My colleagues, there is a fundamental and urgent choice at the heart of this debate. We can continue with the status quo under Obamacare. And we know what that looks like. It means even higher premiums, even fewer choices, even more insurance companies pulling out, even more uncertainty and even more chaos. Look at what has happened in Iowa this week. As, in, as is the case in so many areas in this country, Iowa is down to one insurer. That, of course, is not a choice. But now that one insurer is saying that it will have to pull out of 94 of 99 counties in Iowa. This is happening right now. So tens of thousands of Iowans will go from having one option to no options. That is not a choice. This is a crisis, and it is happening right now. What protection is Obamacare if there is no health care plan to purchase in your state? This is the direction Obamacare is rapidly heading. So we can continue with this status quo, or we can put this collapsing law behind us, end this failed experiment. Let's make it easier for people to afford their health insurance. Let's give people more choices and more control over their care. Let's make insurance companies come in and compete for your business. Let's return power from Washington to the states. Let's help get people peace of mind. Let's put the patient, not the bureaucrats, at the center of the system. This bill does all of those things. This bill delivers on the promises that we have made to the American people. You know, a lot of us have been waiting seven years to cast this vote. Many of us are here because we pledged to cast this very vote, to repeal and replace Obamacare, to rescue people from this collapsing law. Are we going to meet this test? Are we going to be men and women of our word? Yes. Are we going to keep the promises that we made? Yes. Or are we going to falter? No. <laughs> after all of this, after all of this, after seeing what is happening in Iowa and around the country, after seeing this law collapsing while we witness it across the country, knowing all this turmoil that is coming, we will not falter, we will replace, and today is the day that we're going to do this. Today, this House has the opportunity to, more, to do more than just fulfill a promise. We have the opportunity to raise our gaze and set a bold course for our country. We have the opportunity to show that we've got the resolve to tackle the big challenges in this country before they tackle us, to stop the drift of arrogant 
big government policies in our lives and to begin a new era of reform based on liberty and self-determination, giving people choices, letting them control their own destinies. That is the day that is before us right here. So let us pass this bill to take the next step to put Obamacare behind us. Let us pass this bill to build a better health care system for American families. Let us pass this bill to leave this country better than we found it, because that is why we are here. That is what is at stake today. And that is why I am going to be so proud to cast my vote for this legislation, and I urge all of my colleagues to do the same.